Hello everybody, Captain Thief here <laughs> with kind of an ancient game from what, 1993? Wow, Super Nintendo, Jurassic Park. Um, I'm not sure how to describe this game other than unbeatable by my child self. At least until my teen self kicked its butt. Uh, Welcome to Jurassic Park. Perfect. Just let that WAV be the uh, perfect uh, representation of this game. I want to say it's a Doom-like, because 80% of it is. But, uh, got, well, it does. it's not Doom-like Doom -like right now, but uh, you never really figure out what to do. This is probably one of those games where the instruction book tells you what to do. We can go through here, but should we? No. Nah. Oh, we can just touch the gate, right? Nice. Nice. Anyway, yeah, uh, we're Alan Grant, and this is Jurassic Park, and this is totally not what happened in the movie at all, but, you know, I can't really blame them for fudging with the plot a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see, that's a Dilophosaur over there. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, yeah, you have to bend over to pick up stuff. And it says this is shotgun ammo. That is most assuredly not a shotgun, sir. Our, oh, wrapper, wrapper. Okay, I'm almost dead. Nice. Uh, how do I switch weapons? Uh, Super Nintendo. Oh, select. Something you select for once? Oh, hang on. Missile's actually better. It's better. You kill them forever. Well, not forever. I think he's going to respawn next time I come back, but um, I don't have to look at his stupid corpse, so good, good. All right, heal. Okay, I only get like eight missiles on every pickup, though, so let's be careful about that. Anyway, so what's our mission? Aren't we just supposed to survive and find the kids? No, no, no. I'm sorry, That that's from a, uh, that's from a piece of media that actually had a plot. This one, we're just trying to find 20 eggs. Um, also, by the way, there, it's possible to not kill things. Like this guy, this is a stun. He's, he's not dead, though he looks like he is. And if we had killed him with shotgun ammo, he would have made a corpse like that. Because we didn't kill him, he's gonna get back up later. It's whatever, it's whatever, guys. So anyway, yeah, our mission, if we choose to accept it, and we do, is to go find these 20 egg, 18 eggs, 17 eggs left. <sighs> All right, so why was this game unbeatable by Child Captain? <laughs> well, one, it's a little difficult. It's kind of hard to, to figure out where to go. Also, you're making me look stupid because you're still dead. You got to find all 18 eggs and you got to find all the ID cards, probably. And there is no save feature, which means that uh, you got to beat it in one go. Yeah, go ahead and uh, skip to another YouTube and uh, check out the world record on this. It's 53 minutes, guys. I'm, I'm going to be at this for a while. Um, oh, found another egg. All right, awesome. Uh, one thing I do really like about this, though, is that they put in multiple uh, weapons. We have missiles and we have bolas now. Bolas are supposed to wrap around the legs and stop them, but in this game they didn't get the memo and they just uh, kill them instantly. I don't know what this R is for. It might be a useful a useful uh, marker. I don't know. Okay, we can still switch to... We can always have... You'll always have your stun gun thing. Stop it! Just stop it! I know you killed a, a little girl at the start of a Jurassic Park movie. Don't let that get to your head. Oh, good. You know, in case we really feel like it, we can use uh, tranquilizer darts. Which actually kind of makes sense. Maybe we want to do that on the Gallimias. I don't know. Let's see. So, what? what's the shoot button? That's a shoot button. See, he's not dead. He's just tranquilized. This is like the silliest thing ever that they did for Gallimimus. They may stampede. Um, I think we can't, no, we cannot jump over this river. And if you try, you die in one go. And Alan Grant is too dumb to, you know, just walk over that little spot there. Oh, jeez. 
All right, let's go and show bolas. Yeah, kills, kills, kills and pierces, I must say. Oh, hey, we need to go in there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this part of the game because uh, we won't be coming back to it for a while. It's now time for the Doom-esque part. There's a map thing, that, that's cool. I really like the music, by the way. It's got some of the best tracks. Until you get indoors, then, I don't know, maybe they're just so-so, they're okay, maybe. I don't know. I, I can pick that up, I'm just trying to decide if I should. Also, I would really, really like some health. These guys are not being nice. Alright, so... Two main things that uh, Jurassic Park did that were against God's creation, and one was to bring back dinosaurs, and the other was TARDIS technology. These buildings are way bigger on the inside than their outside. New Blar Utility Shed, ground level. Okay, so I think, if I remember right, this is probably the part of the movie where El Ella? Ellis? Whoever her name was? Oh, hello there. So yeah, we can be attacked by raptors. Don't let them attack you first. Oh, and there's a Dilophosaur, too. These are the only two enemies in these uh, Doom-like areas, by the way. As uh, spitters and raptors. <sighs> there's an elevator. Let's come back to it. There's going to be multiple floors, guys. with Complete with elevator music, which is awesome. Thankfully, all the enemies are relatively dumb. To the point that they just kind of stare at you. And you don't have to worry. Uh, we can't like sidestep or anything cool like that, so we're at a disadvantage, I'd say. They can spit. He should have spit at that distance away from me. Kind of like how he's charging at me. Also, no, I don't know why the raptors and the dilophosaurs are on the same side. They just decide to ally up or something. Oh, hey. Okay. This is actually a really pretty big get. It's uh, the night vision goggles batteries. Or night, yeah, battery charged. It, the system they put into this game, guys, does not make sense. All right, first off, occasionally you will find dark, 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 dark rooms in these places. Oh, okay, that's cool. You can have night vision goggles so you can see in the dark, right? No, 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 no. Um, you walk in there, you, you die. No if ands, buts, or potato skater butts. It's just death. Instant. Unless you have the night vision goggles. Oh, okay, so you got your night vision goggles charged for the whole game? No, 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 no. That makes sense. That makes sense. Good try, though. Good try. Uh, no, the battery somehow only works in the area you find it. So, yes, we, we have a battery for this place. But if we go to the visitor center, no, the night vision goggles don't work there. We don't have the battery from the vision center, a uh, visitor center, or vision center, whatever. So, like I said, pretty big get. Uh, I think that was everything. I'm sorry, but having to leave kind of threw me off. I kind of forgot where I was going. I know I want to kill a raptor. And was it here? Are you the raptor? Of my dreams I'm one shot away from death so I'm being careful about this uh, the little four Dick Tracy icons on the sides of my scuba gear there that's why I always thought of it as a kid uh, this is gonna be annoying I, I can get him to aggro maybe you know for 1993 this is actually pretty cool all right okay just gonna look around before I approach the computer. Now most of these walls are, you know, don't have anything despite the fact they're covered in switches and buttons and knobs and buttons. But uh, this, we can actually approach. And I'm not sure why, but this actually kind of scared me a little bit as a kid. BIOS load, message, error, main system down. Action, turn on generator before trying to reboot the system. Message ends, okay. And as I said, this is as much, <laughs> if you're only playing this game, uh, you know, on your own, uh, you don't know what to do. I, I still don't know what to do. I, I've beaten this game once before. Oh, generator room. Okay, so this is where we really want to be. I think we could have gone to any other building, but we really need to come here first. Yeah, I, I can use this, uh, 
the stun gun, but I'd prefer if these things were dead permanently. Especially the Dilophosaurs. They leave corpses in door- oh, hey, let's turn this on. Alright, oh, generator power on, alright, awesome. Mr. Hammond, I think we're in business. And then she gets attacked by a raptor. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so, okay. Night vision goggles required for this area. I have them. Here we go. All right. Now, if there were no mo uh, no no dinosaurs in here, I still would have just died instantly. No ifs, ands, or buts, guys. Oh hey, new uh, weapon, gas grenade. I think that's non-lethal. Okay. Is that bait? Is that bait? It might as well be bait. Good. This was a very nice find. Um, I'm going to try and leave that food there because I don't imagine. Oh. Okay. So I could have just. What was the point of the dark room? I, I just remember this game making no sense at all. Okay, so there was a raptor in here. Was night vision required at all? No. Okay. All right, so we turned on the generator. I think that means we want to go back to the computer. That should be the trick. Should be. My apologies for any viewers that are watching this and they happen to be born in 1993. I mean, gosh, that was a while ago, guys. Um, I don't like showing my age, but, you know, I was a kid back then. I wasn't a fetus. All right, so... Uh, I lost my way again. I, I'm I'm terrible about navigation through places like this, and that's okay. Yeah, we can switch anytime. All right, so there's the exit. Let's not do the exit. I've always dreaded these parts of the game as a kid. Not that they're spooky, but oh, well, they're a little spooky. The dark rooms, the raptors, the everything. But, uh, mostly it's just getting lost and not knowing where to go. Alright, so it must be in here, right? Also, this music's really weird. I, I swear, I hear a voice in it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Might be a loot of some sort. System cannot boot from this console. Alright. T says that's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and close this. <laughs> uh, okay. If we find another terminal with 69 on it, then we will have found the treasure trove of how this all works. Hang on, I need to do something. Alright, cool. Just, oh wait. No, I'm not on the thing. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... We have to find another computer to make all the other computers work. However, why do that when we can also use the elevator in here and find out what else is in here? Generator room, I think this is the way back. No, that's the that's a good get. Was there any doors down here? No, sorry. Were there any doors down here? I should strive to use good English. It's only like my sole language I know. Captain, I thought you were studying Chinese. I I am. But I don't even say I speak it. Otherwise, someone's just going to machine gun a whole sentence by me and I won't even know. I won't even know. And they'll just be like saying hello and I'll be like, whoa, hang on. Slow down there. Let me get out my uh, World Lonely Planet dictionary real quick. Oh, okay. You said hello. Because not everybody says hello. Most of the time it's just hey or yo or something like that. And then when they meet somebody who they know is new to the language, then they become really slow and really formal about it. All right, here we go. <sighs> nice. This is tea drinking music. You got a beverage? I got one. I love the elevators. I also love that they didn't need a generator to work. They didn't. Um, okay, it says button B or the right mouse because uh, the mouse was usable here actually 
from the Super Nintendo. Hang on, I, I did things wrong. I started using the Super Nintendo mouse when I don't have it plugged in. Ha <laughs> ha Um, B? Okay, there we go. Alright, only two floors from this elevator. Good. Hey! Really? There's two different elevator tracks, so yeah. Let's go ahead and kill him. Alright, nice. We're hearing a spitter. I, I shouldn't, because it's going to haunt me for the rest of the game, but let's do it. Let's use shotgun ammo. The raptor corpses are okay. We're going to shoot candy corn at them, which is good, because this is a Halloween game. Welcome to October, guys. Okay, I think I did that. I did that right. I did that well. Alright. So yeah, they, they are definitely in cahoots with them standing there. Let's, let's go ahead and kill one. And now, he's going to have a liveless corpse body staring at me for all eternity. Just just look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that beautiful? Just, just get right up to the screen. Give it a kiss. Oh, 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 what's this? You, you follow me everywhere? Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. I see why Captain Thief wanted to kill everything with missiles now. Make the unclean bodies go away. Thankfully, you leave your ammo behind when you pick up more ammo. We might have to come back for that. I don't mind the shot. I, I, I don't mind the uh, raptor corpses. I mean, you know, those make sense. But those guys. Ugh. Stop it. Just cut it out. Um... Let's go ahead and use this gas grenade. <laughs> I think it's non-lethal. No. Okay, we'll find out soon enough if we come back in here and he's back up. Which he might be. We got night vision gurgles. Uh, they will not go through doors. I don't think they will anyway. Okay, something was behind me, I think. Was it you? Are you back up? See, I told you it was non-lethal. Alright. So yeah, dark rooms. Spooky. Honestly, this battery hasn't been necessary so far. It's just been for some nice finds, I guess. Or wetting my curiosity, whichever. Right. You know, I wish there were two different kinds of corpses for each enemy. One where it's obvious they're still alive. Maybe put an animation of them breathing. Or even breathing. You know, no, I'm not going to judge. But, uh... Hi. Bye. Yeah, it'd be handy if I didn't have to think, Okay, is he dead or is he? did I just knock him out? And I solved that issue by just killing them with missiles. No corpses. Access denied. You need Ian Malcolm's ID card. What is this? The fourth or fifth thing that doesn't make sense? Uh, well, guess what this is. Uh, the guests have ID cards. And they go to some fairly restricted places. That doesn't make any sense. If they explained it like, Oh, okay, well, for security reasons, we made some new ID cards. And we got it mixed up with the guests that were showing up. You know, Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, uh, what, what's her name? Something Sadler, I think. I think that's her last name. Gosh, I can't remember her first name. Oh, and I think even the kids have, uh, ID cards. So, you know, this is great. It's great. All right, so I think we're done. We're done in the utility shed for now. We came to do what we came to do, and we did it. Alright, so A button. Going up. It's water time. Ah, Alright. Excellent. No, this game is not particularly spooky for October. But... I wanted to beat it. As I said, I've beaten it before, but I don't remember what drove me to do that. I just did it. Alright. 
we came out a stronger man than we went in. Yay! Wait, you're still tranquilized? Do not shoot Gallant Myers, they may stampede. Pretty good advice. Uh, I could just kill all the Gallant Myers with missiles and never have to deal with them again. Raptors respawn. These raptors respawn. Um, but Gallimimus was actually my favorite dinosaur growing up, so, you know, I, I kind of like them. Also, oh hey, you can get hints by touching these radio towers, or whatever these are. Grunt. Raptors will not attack unless you shoot at them. Yeah, this guy's the bad guy, or one of the bad guys from the Jurassic Park movie, and he's giving you bad hints, so, yeah. Your motion sensor will only work when the computer's rebooted. Okay, so, we have... A little thing, this little compass thing at the bottom that actually tells me where enemies are. Uh, which is great, but it's not going to work until we get the computer rebooting. Sucker! That's if you went and hugged a raptor, I guess. Okay, anything else? Reboot the computer in the visitor center. Okay, so it actually does kind of tell you, hey, you know, you should go do this thing. Thankfully, I think all of the eggs in the game are on the overworld, which I find easier to explore. Goodness, guys, that was a five minute Doom level and it took me 15, no, 21 minutes. Well done. Hey, an egg. All right, so let's see if we can get over there. There might be a bridge. Let's find ourselves a bridge. No? Okay, well, let's use good weaponry. Not on the galley mines, though. That tranquilizer lasts a long time, man. Well, it's a good thing I'm tranquilizing the entire herd. Nothing bad will happen to them now. Uh, oh, just jump over this, because if you just walk on it... Ow. Uh-oh. We're running low on uh, ammo. Okay. So we're back to... Welcome to Jurassic Park. Very, very slight lisp. I don't think that was from the speaker. I think that was just from the audio quality at the time. Uh, a missile will open this. A bullet cannot. But just to save ammo, let's use electric blankets. Ugh, okay, the controls are not actually that great. Okay. Reboot the computer and division. Okay, it just tells you what to do. That's good. That's good. And I never knew her name was Alex. Or Tim. Do not shoot the Calamitis. Okay, so... Kenner. I, I don't even know what that means. This looks like a visitor center. Wow, that's a lot of Gallimimus. Hang on. Uh, if you're... The Patchia fellow are the very territorial state either way. I thought that they were Dilophosaur, but that must be the spitter kind. And somebody's probably already corrected me in the comments, but I'm going to go ahead and correct them because... Oh, hang on. It doesn't matter what you kill this thing with. It explodes. Boom! So I'm going to save a missile and do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and correct you and let you know that whatever... Oh, no, it must be that thing. That's the headbutter guy. That's the patchy. And I died. I mean, it doesn't look like a very gruesome death. I guess these function as save points. Well, okay, checkpoints. Um, I have no qualms about killing Patchies. Patchy the pirate. I, I keep thinking that if I'm in a jungle corridor like this, I'm going to get attacked by raptors. Okay. Here's the patchy area. Okay, good. I got my trigger on the finger on... Oh, come on. Gotcha, you little sucker. River of the computer the visitor center! I will, gee, hang on. I'm exploring here. I don't have anything else. I'm going to take the shotgun. Okay. Gotcha. Now, why are we collecting these eggs? 
Are they various kinds of eggs, Captain? No, they're they're all raptor eggs, which makes no sense because, as the movie pointed out, the raptors are breeding without males, so they're just gonna make more eggs. Ian, I I don't know why you care. Maybe he just wants to collect them. He, he wants a really big omelet. That's 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 his answer. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, hey, a, Apache. Gotcha. Let's get him too. Uh, it's so hard to aim. How was I aiming? There we go. Let's, let's reload. He doesn't give a crap that I shot him once already. I'm half dead, but you know, I'm gonna keep eating. This is really good grass, man. Oh, that, that's a joke. Tranquilizers for raptors. Okay, I think we're in the right place. Pause just darkens the screen, that's all. That's all. That's all it will ever be. That's all it ever could be. Now if we have any sort of ranged weaponry, we can shoot this and make this thing go over, which makes sense, yeah, yeah. I mean, this looks like it just fell off of something, but uh, yeah, it, it's a bridge. I, I actually like the, uh, the look of this thing on the overworld, watch this. Non-lethal though, so useless. Now, um, if you played Jurassic Park 2 The Chaos Continues, which came out way before the second movie, by the way, so it, it kind of had its own plot. Actually, no. It, it was more based on the book, I think. Yeah, there was a book. Let's just run away from this guy. Ah. Uh, Uh-oh. Don't oof me. Don't oof me, bro. Okay. Here lies Alan Grant. Killed by a mosquito! Yeah, not a particularly gruesome death, even if you're killed by a raptor. Stop telling me what to do, Alex. I mean, it's appreciated. See, you just have to be nice, and it makes the prompts go away. Alright, so... What happens if you game over? I don't even remember, actually. This is kind of a problem. Well, whatever we're doing, let's try and go indoors. We'll figure out if this is a visitor center. I'm fairly certain it is. It's meant to be the, the part from the opening scene, or well, not the opening scene, but like the uh, closing scene where the giant T-Rex is going as it kills two raptors or whatever. Restaurant. Okay, we're in the visitor center. I'm fairly certain about it. Which means that there should be some jello here. Hi. Bye. Oh, that's a first. Okay, well. Don't you dare shoot at me. Yep. Yep. Rep. Ranged enemies. I love them. Love them so much. Uh, I hate. I hate to waste ammo and health, but if I pick up that shotgun again, I'm just going to shoot it randomly and waste it. I don't want to pick it up again. Not in here. Not today. Uh, okay, it's got some pretty good spread. Hang on, I just got text. Okay, doesn't matter. Not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and just blast you. I think you can get over ammo so we actually have like you're supposed to hold only eight but we have like 12 or something I don't want gas grenades Sam I am I don't want them with green eggs and ham okay good spread good spread wait There's something blue over there but what oh it's just a plant okay now that's like biological hazard thing, but I always thought it was like an outline of a guy with two eyes and a shadowy nose mouth and shoulders. Yeah, I don't know. 
Captain, you were dumb as a kid. Hey, 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 hey. I'm still dumb. Be nice. Alright, so... Again, this game is just full of not knowing where to go. Unless you're good at that sort of thing. And I'm not. And I'm proud of that fact. Rocket launcher. Yeah, that's what we need. Hey, it's time to open our dino park. Oh, hang on. Let's scatter a whole bunch of rocket launchers everywhere for fun and profit. But what if they kill each other with them? We'll charge extra. What was this? Oh, I thought there was another door. Not the door I went through. But yeah. Uh, I don't know what drove me to play this again. Other than it being October. But, um... I was watching YouTube videos of, you know, I was kind of curious about the music. I was like, hey, you need John Hammond's ID card. Now, that makes sense. His ID card should open things. Yeah, let's prove it. You just die. You just die. I, I just lost a life. There may not be a dinosaur in there, but Alan Grant will never know. You're so afraid of the dark. You die of a heart attack instantly if you go into a dark room. No, I, I don't remember what happens if you game over. I think you have to start completely over again. Which will be a problem. I don't want to do that again. Is this the Hammond door? Of course it's the Hammond door. And the, the, the text just decides to refresh... I'm not going in there again. I just want to see if I can get Mr. Dino to screech at me again. He's not going to go through the door. They, they just don't. I mean, they figured out how to open doors in the movie, but uh, they, they don't want to pass through doors ever. Okay. Kitchen. Well, at least all the ammo respawns. That's definitely appreciated. So... Let's get a, a going tally going on this, but uh, we need John Hammond. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we were gonna leave and not come back until we get John Hammond's ID card. Thankfully, though, I don't think that's necessary. Okay, so we're gonna go up, 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 up. Hang on, it's elevator music. Oh, we got more floors than this. Time for tea. Nice. All right, let's leave. Hi. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload the door. The sad part is it's entirely possible we ran across the first, what's the word I'm looking for? Diplomatic dinosaurs that just want to talk things out. You know, and that's why they just stood there. Really? I eat health when I don't need it at all? Well, I don't like that at all, mister. Um, let's not go through that door yet. Bola's snare rifle. Bola's don't work that way, though. Incubation room. You got ranged attacks? I got ranged attacks. Mine are better. Okay. Here's the entire incubation room, guys. Remember that nice big scenic room from the movie? Oh, well, let's reduce to this. Alright, so let's look behind things. There might be... Okay, there's health. I'm looking for important things. Important things like ID cards. Okay, I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to go in here. That's the thing that attacked me through the wall, but couldn't go through the wall. Okay. Still, it makes sense. Dennis Nedry was an Ijen? I-G-E-N. I always pronounce it Ingen because of Jurassic Park 2, The Chaos Continues. Uh, it makes sense. He's an employee of them. And uh, thus he would have an ID card. 
he, he was the only IT guy and had to end up biting him in the ass, but uh, hey, how about that? All right, three floors. Second floor needs some Dennis Nedry ID card action. Okay. It's just, just a carnival game, guys. It's just a carnival game. Yeah, I, I love it when they do that to you. What the? We're on the third floor and there's an exit? Tell me more. Tell me so much more. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, 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 hang, hang on. No, no. <laughs> Come on, let's play. I'm gonna get ya. Oh, I'm murdering their cute little faces. Okay, hang on. I'll get that egg in a sec, but... Oh, this reversed my controls for a sec. I don't think it does anything to you indoors. Okay. Pick that up. Pick that up. 14 eggs left. Uh, it should be like a quarter done with the game then, right? Okay. It doesn't reverse my controls. It like chaos modes them or something. Alright, so anything else up here? There has to be. Uh, I wish there were a reliable weapon to kill super small guys with. Hey! That's not health. It's an ID card. John Hammond's ID card. Oh, sorry. I spoke over you there, John Hammond, but he said, Mr. Grant! Okay. I think we're done with the rooftop. Let's go ahead and finish off this visitor center and call it nap. Yeah. Yes, we have a score. I think that's the only thing that resets if you game over. I'm hoping against hope that that's the case. We'll find out though, because, like I said, this game does not have a save at all. You gotta beat it in one go, guys. And gals. And how are you gonna do it? Well, my special Super Nintendo from my uncle that works at Nintendo uh, has the ability to um, save. No matter what. Yeah, yeah. You see, the United States has states. The country of Canada, which I'm not from, has provinces. And I like to think that... Oh wait, that's Ned, That's the Nedry room. What am I doing in here? I'm recovering health, that's what I'm doing. Good job, Captain. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna make save provinces. It's, it's okay if it's not save states. You just gotta make a save province. Do, do, do. Oh, every time I hear good music, it's tea time. I apologize for the metal scrape of the spoon swirling around the mug as it gingerly stirs the tea. Okay, so where was John Hammond's... I don't even remember. Worst, it may not even tell me when I open it. It'll be just like, okay, this room's open. Or maybe it will. I think it was here. I'm almost certain. E you no, know, but also yes. This does not look familiar, so I'm going to say yes. Rawr. We're back in the restaurant. Refrigerator. Actually, it's kind of cool. There, there's a raptor in here, and I think Alex trapped a raptor in here in the movie. If I remember right. That's cool. That, that's that's a pretty good shout out to the movie. Good good job, guys. Good job. Okay, so Hammond, ID card, where? Where? Yes, this would be a lot easier for me if I had some sort of a mini map. Okay, that's is that the room? That can't be the room. I went in there and I just went back to the restaurant. That's it. That's all. Rocket launcher ammunition. So wait, I'm only finding rockets, right? Oh, he can't attack through the door. 
or around the door, but you can spit through it. I call hacks good, sir. I have so many bullet snares. Okay. So, this is the John Hammond place. It's another elevator that goes further down. Um, yeah. This uh, modified Super Nintendo uses an Xbox controller somehow. And the A and the B are reversed on Super Nintendo versus Xbox. So, it takes me a minute to figure out what button to hit. But only a minute. Not, not three minutes like it used to. Why chalkboards? Wasn't... Oh, hey. Check out my score. Nice. Wasn't the whole big thing about Jurassic Park was, was it CD-ROMs? And it's computer screens and stuff? I mean, that was the second awe of it was, you know, the 3D technology was starting to come to the fore. And every Jeep had a, a 3D map-like thing or whatever. And it was, it was super cool, man. CD-ROM! That was back in the day when CD-ROM was technical computer nerd jargon that, you know, you have to be smart to get. Okay, I, I hear spitting. I get worried about it. <sighs> Perfect timing on his part. You know, I ought to kill them just so I... Oh. Here's the battery. See, I, I proved it on, sc on on screen. Um, I got the battery, but it didn't tell me that because I picked up the health and that. Yeah, whatever. So even though I had the utility um, battery, <laughs> the utility shed battery, I could not use night vision goggles in here. Why? They could have put, you know, maybe a, a brief explanation like. The door of this building is locked when you bring out the night vision goggles and you have to hang them up in order for the door to unlock or something like that. Eh, just gonna show you that animation. It's a little, a little crazy, a little scary. It's okay though. It's okay guys. I'm here. You're in a nice safe place. You're drinking hot chocolate, bundled in a blanket. No, no, you're, you're on your way. To work and a nice cold bus. Oh, hey, a control room. And uh, this is just a few of your minutes of solitude before you know you get back to tough hard work. But hey, you know you're spending with me, and I appreciate that. Thank you. So if I remember right, this is the control room. This is where Dennis Nedry worked. Not that that matters. It's not like we're gonna find his ID card here or anything. Just you know, this is the room with uh, Samuel L. Jackson in it. Ellie Sattler. Ellie Sattler. That there's, okay, her, her name is Ellie Sattler, guys. What does that mean? It means that a guest, guys, a guest had an ID card to an elevator in the control room, the most important room of Jurassic Park. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm not actually that mad, but I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not angry. It's just that the more I play this game, the more it feels like it was a game jam. That's right. And I'm not saying game jams are bad. I love game jams, but I think they only had a week to put this together. They had a list of names. Okay, Dennis Nedry, Alan Grant. Oh, wait, we're Alan Grant. Uh, what's he do? Who cares? We don't have time for questions like this. George, get on that. Did you get the dead raptor animation done yet? Yeah, I, I made it so it doesn't stare into your soul. Good. Now make it so the dial office where it does. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not that mad. Oh, wait. Okay, we, we got more visitor center things to do because we have the battery. So what I'm thinking about doing is going back upstairs. I don't even remember where I am. And some of these places are actually pretty big. The visitor center is not the biggest. Fact checks later, looks it up, finds out it is. Whoops. Well, the important thing is that we're killing them with kindness. And by kindness, I mean ultimate death. Um, this is the elevator I can't use, right? Yep, 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 yep. I knew that. I knew that. Dinosaurs eat, man. Ellie Sattler inherits the earth. 
Um, maybe I should go a way I, I haven't gone. You know, because I keep going in circles. That's, that's my favorite thing to do in this game. Oh, there we go. Before we go, though... Is this... Oh, okay, yeah, we want to go in here. Okay, that time... That time, there was a raptor in here. And I guess they have night vision goggles? Or, they have night vision? Goggles? What am I even doing in here? What am I even doing playing this game? I don't know. They're... I, I promise. The batteries are actually necessary for being the game, guys. You have to go in here to find things like ID cards. Or, you know, traverse to another part of the building that you haven't been before. That also has something for you. But, in this case, no. It's mostly a bit of a bonus. It's like, hey, you got the night vision goggles. You can get some more missiles and health, I guess. I like this music. Again, metal scraping. I hope it's not annoying, but I also like to make it evident that I'm drinking tea. Okay, so we're back on the ground level. Um, there was more... There was another night vision goggle place, right? I don't want to have to look up a guide. And I doubt that I will. I'm a good boy. Uh, it was down this way, right? <sighs> Gas grenade launcher. I could just spend it all shooting nothing. And not have to worry about it. But, well, then it would just respawn, so who cares? There has to be a cap on missiles, by the way, so it's not like we have 80 billion missiles. Fifteen oh seven. Anything special about that number, Captain? Uh, not that I can think of. All right, we're back on the ground floor, which is actually a good thing. I don't remember there being anything, any darkness on the ground floor. So let's go upstairs. I think the third floor literally just takes you to the roof, so there's no point doing that. We'll just do the second floor. Which one's up? That one. That one. Okay, I know we need Dennis Nedry's ID card here. Oh, that's it. Okay, so they had one IT guy in Samuel L. Jackson. I, I don't know what his job was, to be honest. I really don't. But uh, they had one IT guy who screwed over the entire park when he was trying to steal the embryos to sell to a rival uh, corporation. And uh, maybe... He just happened to transfer all of the, you know, access privileges onto guest cards, knowing that they would probably just throw them away because they were worthless, and thus, okay, this is actually starting to make sense. Nedry, which, if you mix the letters around, spells nerdy. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so there's nothing on the second floor. Let's try the third, just, just to prove myself right. Now, it's kind of a glitch that the dinosaurs aggro you through the walls, but I bet you they kept that in because... You see, I got into the elevator and then I heard an attack, so it's kind of like we're being attacked from behind. And it kind of spooks... Spooks you a little bit. Okay, there's nothing else here. Turn on the computer at the visitor center. Where? Where is it? I'm just thinking. If we had a mini map, even if it were an Etrian Odyssey situation where you had to make the map or draw the map as you went along, I would go for that. I would definitely go for that. Eat that food off the floor, Alan Grant. Sorry, I had to specify which Alan I was talking about. <sighs> okay, so gas grenade launcher. 
Let's just hug the left wall. Maybe that's what we want to do. If you're ever lost, just hug the left wall and get stuck in a loop and then... No. Oh, poop. Okay, so more bolas. I, I'm not even going to go pick those up. Just not. Just not. Just not. Okay. So hug left wall. Got it. Oh, hey. Here we go. I saw that tail. I saw that tail. Stop it. Just... Oh, hey. ID card. Yeah. Locate. Alan Grant's ID card. Yeah, mine. My ID card. Did we, uh... Did we see anything that needs my ID? I think we did. Hang on, I'm, I'm thinking about this for a sec. No, the, the utility card was Ian Malcolm. Visitor Center was John Hammond, which I found first, actually. And, uh, Dennis Nedry. So, let's just keep hugging the left wall in case there's more dark rooms. But yeah, see? Dark room had a plot relevant Path of the Hero item in it. Captain, you just can't borrow terminology from Ocarina of Time randomizer and expect people to know. Yes, I can. Anyway, I keep trying to talk about another game that actually kind of, you know, makes me think about what I'm doing in this game. And that is uh, Jurassic Park 2 The Chaos Continues, which is more of a Contra-like. It's not Doom-like at all, thankfully. And, uh, you know, I might just play that with Risky if I can get a hold of him. And uh, in that game, it does not let you... There's a score, but you actually don't want it to go down. You kill innocent dinosaurs, you know, the non-raptor things, with lethal ammo. Uh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm making this weird, but uh, I think we've already circled around, haven't we? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. Well, we got Alan Grant's card. I don't know where to go now. I'm thinking we're going to go to another building, and we'll just hope for the best. Maybe when I'm watching this, I'll figure out where to go. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Jurassic Park 2, Chaos Continues. You kill Gallimimus, you kill Dilophosaurs, even, with, non -le or with lethal ammo, your score goes down, because you're not supposed to kill the good dinosaurs. I, I don't know. You can't see me shrugging, but I'm shrugging really hard. You can kill raptors with whatever you want. But you better, you know, save the uh, non-lethal ammo for, like, the gallimice and stuff. Ow. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Uh, I think we're just going to go to the next building. I think that's what we're going to do. That makes sense. Hey, I want to ride this. Yeah! Uh, let, let's just save some time. Use a use a missile, because missiles work that way. If I remember right, there should be something at the top right here. Can you be knocked in the water? Probably. It's Jurassic Park, guys. Um. When do you fight the T Rex? Eventually, but not really. This isn't Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis, guys. It's not building up to a giant boss battle with the T-Rex. Not get close to the Dilophosaurus, their spit is tasty. You'll get addicted, and then they'll own you. You will take out car loans just to get another hit. I think he's dead, Jim. Maybe on the overworld they die forever. I, I don't know. I think I know how this game works, but I don't. I really don't. So, they needed... Oh. You would. We'll get that. We'll get that. I want that. It has to happen. Come on. My gosh. More missiles. They don't look like missiles to me. They look like... You know those honey commercials? Any sort of commercial that uses honey at all? will have a, a thing that dips into the honey and then pulls it out. Looks like one of those. 
until I pick it up and then it looks like missiles. Still bee themed, but you know, you know, not, not like a honey dipper. I don't like calling honey dippers honey dippers because honey dipper in the States actually tends to mean a truck, a truck that comes by and, um, you know, pulls waste out of your septic tank. Not honey at all. Not dipping at all either. Okay, well, technically a honey dipper pulls things out and so does a septic truck, but whatever. There's another R. What does it mean? Who knows? Oh, oh, that's that's the secret. You gotta die on the R three times, and then on your last life you need to kill 100 raptors with tranquilizer darts, and then you unlock Ninja Allen Grant, where the control scheme actually works, and uh, you, you it's 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 just so much better. No, I've always wondered about that. Big secret levels that you know. Are so secret but they decide to hide them in the game rather than use them as a selling point yeah yeah I uh, I spent 60 hours or no no 6,000 hours making this thing me and my team but let's just go ahead and put that as a secret and make it really ridiculous on how to get it yeah that sounds like a great use of resources right there you know now granted you know you can probably pull it off Okay, this is what we want. It's a piece of heart. Get get out of here. Ian, I can't see what's going on. Okay. So Yeah, it, you have to get all these eggs. Otherwise, you're not allowed to win. The the helicopter does not pick you up. The helicopter knows that an egg is missing and it wants you to go get it. Come at me again, Raptor. Come at me again. Okay. Uh, what am I doing with my life? I think we want to go down this way. I don't care for this theme. I mean, it's not bad. It actually kind of makes sense to play it. I hate you. We are on our last life, guys, with our last piece of health. Here's another building. Let's go ahead and sit here. Feel that ocean air, guys. Whoop. Whoop. And don't try to jump over that. Oh, uh, no. Okay, good. I just wanted this egg. Thank you. 12 eggs left. Oh, we need to get that other egg. The one I left behind. Up. Oh, and up. Oh. <sighs> Hang on. I'm going to do something awesome. Uh, do, 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 do. Where does this go? Save province. There we go. Okay. I've, I've turned so many dinosaurs into dust before, guys. The guilt, the guilt weighs on me. I should, I should meet the same fate. <laughs> oh, okay. Life zero. Okay, hang on. There we go. I, I, I don't give a, I don't give a, I don't give a care. So, boat. Sorry, ship. Oh, ship! So, yeah, there's a ship. And it's got its own music. I love it. This, this track is probably one of the best in the game. For what it's trying to do. Uh, I'm gonna die. Help! I think you can spook these things away by using your electric thing. It's called a cattle prod, Captain. And, uh, well... Nice. Oh, hey. Here we go. So, by going into the ship, I think I've set that as my, if I die, put me back here, Jim, point. Ooh. Nice. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? I'm just going to have to call it an ep 
thank you so much for watching guys I've been kept deep playing Jurassic Park on the Super Nintendo what am I doing uh then I just kind of felt like beating it so uh, yeah I oh if you stay still long enough you get some uh, facts hang on well, let me see if I can do that again I think he'll show up again in fact I think creepy enough he'll show up again if you pause it which unnerves me I mean the water moving that that's understandable Bowser blinking up oh, yeah there he is Brachiosaurus stood some 35 feet tall. Bowser blinking, uh, the penguin blinking in Super Mario 64 while the game's paused, that's creepy. That's creepy. Mr. DNA visiting you when the game's paused, that's also creepy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.